What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the Nerf Rival Takedown. All right, you guys, so this is the Takedown, and it is a brand new shotgun to the Rival line, which is really, really cool. I'm pretty darn excited about this one. It is pump action, it has a nice pump handle on the front there and is a very nice size I think so could be used very easily as a secondary slung possibly uh, we'll check that out soon enough but this shell seems very similar in size to the reaper blasters that came out it is probably similar internals except this one is pump action which makes it awesome so it does hold eight rounds at least it would make sense that it holds eight rounds since it comes with eight rounds that's pretty cool. It says it gets 90 FPS, which is very similar to a Kronos, at least what they say that one shoots, but obviously we know those can be upgraded quite a bit, so that's pretty exciting for this blaster. We'll go ahead and check out the back of the box. And just shows you the blaster, it says pump action, and it gives you a look at the charger, which we will be reviewing right after this blaster. So definitely smash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and you will be alerted to when I post that video. So let's crack this baby open. All right, in the package you get your blaster, you get eight rival rounds and some instructions. So we'll go ahead and prime this baby back and load up our eight rounds that load right into this loading door. There we go, we'll pull that back forward and we should be ready to go. So now that I have this thing out of the package, the size seems very similar to a rough cut. Uh, I think it's actually a little bit smaller than the Reaper Blaster. I'm actually gonna grab a couple of those and compare them for you uh, here in a second, but let's go ahead and take a look at the features of the Blaster. We do have a rival rail on top there, so you could put an optic if you want. Like I said, this is the loading door, so you load in there. Um, there is no flap or anything, so that's really nice. Uh, we do have a very, very nice pump grip here, very good size, so that can fit pretty much any size hand, so that's pretty sweet. We do have a little different trigger lock here, so we actually slide that forward to lock the trigger in place, so that's pretty cool, I kinda like that. A Little bit different than like a push through or a lever switch that they like to use a lot of times. I think this one is a little bit easier actually to push forward and pull back, so. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have a grip that is very, very comfortable, very large. I really always like this kind of angle grip for blasters like this. Very, very similar styling to like the rough cut, like I said. But yeah, that's really, really cool. We do have a sling point down here, so we can sling this, which is nice because I could see a lot of people using it that way, you know, for like a secondary. We do have a button on this side, which is our depriming button, so if we cannot for some reason pull back our pump grip here. We will pull that down and that should allow us to deprime the blaster. So yeah, like I was saying, this is very similar size to the rough cut and I got a rough cut here that I thrifted fairly recently. Thrifting videos, I know I'm gonna get comments on it now that I mentioned thrifting. We may have a thrifting video coming at the beginning, the end of this year or the beginning of next year depending on when I can shoot and edit it and how quickly I can get to it but thrifting's been pretty sparse really basically all year and i just don't have the time to do it anymore but i still thrift on occasion and i have thrifted several pretty cool things over the course of what probably a year now that i haven't done a video so i might do a video but it probably will be the last one so if you want to see that definitely ring the bell for notifications make sure you're subscribed obviously and you will be notified when i post that video but this is very, very similar size. It is actually a little thicker, so that is interesting. So yeah, very similar size to the Rough Cut, so that's pretty darn cool. The Reaper Blaster, on the other hand, is a little bit bigger. So as you can see, it's slightly longer, definitely more bulky, uh, just a bulkier blaster. Definitely a cool shell, but yeah, just a little larger, but similar. So yeah, let's go ahead and fire this thing off, why don't we? See what kind of pop it's got. Well, that's definitely got some pop. Whew, 
Rival Rams, man, they just go everywhere. Take one more shot here. Pretty sweet. So this blaster does only shoot one round at once, just like a Kronos. So I don't know, maybe you won't call it a shotgun then. I guess it's up to you whether you do or don't. I'm sure there's ways to make it shoot more than one uh, eventually, but in stock form, it's going to be kind of difficult to do so, I do believe. So we'll go ahead and take this thing outside, put it over the chronograph in the range and see what kind of performance it's getting. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and put some shots over the chronograph with the takedown, see what kind of performance it's getting. 95. 92. 90. 96. Duplicate 96. 94. Right, a few more. 94. 96. 93. All right, so mid to low 90s, which is very good, better than what they actually advertise, which is impressive. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the ranges. So I'm guessing everything rolled probably about five feet. So just take that into account with these rival rounds, but we got a short one at 58. And then we got one over there about 62 here at 63. And I would say that's about what the range is these all obviously rolled uh, the longest one there at 70 so i would say about 60 to 65 foot ranges uh, would be right where this blaster is at so let's go ahead and go back inside and i'll give you my final thoughts all right you guys so the takedown is a pretty sweet blaster if i do say so myself it is exactly what the rival line needed i think it's something that's been missing and definitely a cool secondary offering to kind of go along with your Kronos. I think that this is right on par with a secondary similar to that uh, if you like more of a shotgun style secondary. So holds eight rounds, pretty good capacity there and you know definitely gives you good performance. It's going to have good modability as it's probably internally exactly the same as the Kronos. So that's awesome. I did want to mention one thing that I missed that was kind of hidden. There is a priming indicator right here it's kind of hard to see but if you forget it's there so that is one thing that i missed but other than that i think the blaster is pretty sweet so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the review if you did please leave me a like it greatly helps out the channel and helps promote my videos don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed ring the bell for notifications and as always peace out